thousands of people here to see their favorite animals, but it's not a normal day at the Toronto Zoo. We're here because many have come out for the solar eclipse, but instead of looking up at the sky, they'll be watching the animals. That's because they want to find out if any of the animals act bizarrely during daytime darkness. Otter. The otter? Why the otter? We think them are going to swim so crazy. Uh, maybe the wolves like howling at the moon, doing something cool. <laughs> I want to see the capybara. What do you think that they might do? My guess is that they're going to just roll around. Zoo researchers also want to know if wolves howl and capybaras roll around or even react at all. They're inviting guests to be scientists for a day and to go online to log what they see. The zoo wanted to get people to sort of do like a before, during, and after of all the animals, like uh, sort of their behavior during the eclipse, and I thought that was a really cool thing. Zoo-goers all along the eclipse's path will be doing the same thing, and for good reason. Everybody is interested in what animals are thinking. Adam Hartstone rose is a biologist who led the study that got everybody talking about animal behavior during eclipses. During a total solar eclipse in 2017, Adam and his team observed several strange behaviors at a South Carolina zoo. Tortoises started mating, giraffes started galloping, and flamingos flocked to protect their young. So that was really beautiful. And then when the sun came back, everybody kind of went back to their normal business. Adam says this phenomenon isn't well researched, partly because eclipses are rare. So he's excited to see what happens this year. So that we can see if it's actually repeatable. As is Ezekiel Gadding, an animal welfare researcher at the Toronto Zoo. What are you secretly hoping will happen? <laughs> secretly, I'm hoping that, um, you know, animals are just going to be okay, really. Um, but also, um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see some interesting sort of like changes. Maybe some animals might vocalize. Are you able to make any conclusions today from the observations that you make? Absolutely not until we actually get the data. In fact, even when we get the data, we still would still say, OK, well, let's wait uh, or let's, you know, look at the future and see what would happen. It's nearly time. We're joining eager crowds posted up near the wolves. Many people want to know if they'll howl when it goes dark. So since we'll be watching the wolves together, I'm wondering what are some behaviors you'll be watching for in the wolves when there's total darkness? Mainly, uh, we're looking at activity levels. Uh, we're also looking at inactivity levels. So those two things are important. The crowd is buzzing, splitting attention between the sky and the wolves. Will the wolves react? We're two minutes away. We're too, probably a little less. It's also the temperature has dropped. It, it I don't know has. if you've noticed, like I'm feeling a little chilly. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's visibly darker. The wolves are really active are right now. Uh, Alas, no howling. And now the sun is back up. Some people say they did see a difference. You said it was disappointing, why? Because it didn't like show the whole thing. Okay, fair. Because the clouds were blocking it. Yeah, But yeah. something that the wolves did, they were like running, um, running. Like, Seeing the wolves being more active was cool. Uh, they were running around a lot. Uh, they like huddled up at one point and then moved again. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. other than that, I think it was pretty good. We even meet an aspiring researcher. Eli Margell came prepared. Before the eclipse, the Arctic wolves, like they looked like they were surrounding and running around the, like, the barrier. They kept on like laughing and laughing and laughing around. So they were also, I think they were like, since it was getting darker, they were, they might have thought it was like nighttime. So they were like resting a bit. Zoo staff are so impressed. They make sure to snag his scientific observations right away. And now we wait for the zoo to collect all of its data and to ultimately find out if the eclipse really did change animal behavior.